So it is bright and early and we are here at Walmart. So last night my friend sent me a picture and they had Pokemon cards here at my local Walmart. They had a collection box that I really wanted for my sealed collection. So here I am at 6.48 in the morning waiting for Walmart to open so I can go in there. Hopefully they still have it. I don't see why it wouldn't be there. He sent me that picture like super late at night. So, and uh, he also didn't check like the, the area up front. This was in the toy section that he sent me the picture from. Um, so we're gonna also check the front area and we'll see what else they have in there. So let's wait a little bit longer. We'll head inside and hopefully, hopefully they still have it there. And yes, I know I, I forgot to wear, I'm, I'm not wearing my glasses, so. This is going to be interesting. All right, here we go. And here it is. This is awesome. This is what I was looking for. They also have the blister packs that we already opened a few times. They have some battle style single blisters. Those are cool. And check this out. An Eternatus. V10. Oh man, this is really tempting as well. Five booster packs. Wow, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but this looks really cool. This looks really cool. They also have this, which I opened a long time ago, not on camera, but they have it here. Wow, look. Up here on the top shelf, they also have. A sun and moon ETB. That is really, really cool. Bunch of sun and moon base base set packs there with some sleeves. That's really cool. Wow, a bunch of cool stuff that I haven't seen before. That's that's awesome. But uh, now to debate because I really want this. I really want this Eternatus tin, and I really want this box here. But let's keep on looking and see what I decide on. What I decide on. All right, now let's go look up front, see if they have anything else with you. All right, so they do have some Chilling Rain blisters, Charizard sleeves, per usual. Let's see, what else they got over here? Empty Vivid Voltage box. Um, that looks to be about it. I don't really see anything else. I mean, they have these soccer trading cards some Yu-Gi-Oh here Egyptian God deck some single King's Court booster packs uh let's see down here don't really see anything you have some Green Lantern cards some Panini uh, Batman trading cards Leo really likes those and that seems to be about it Whoops. all right so we're back at the truck and I picked up these two chilling rain booster packs that were just by themselves like somebody left them behind there's the only chilling rain that I found in the entire store so I grabbed them and I left the uh, two battle styles booster packs I left those behind and I grabbed these two just to see just to test our luck who knows you know you never know and then I also picked up the Turnitus V10. This looks really cool. Really happy to add this to the collection. There's five booster packs inside, plus a plus an Eternatus V Ultra Rare right there. That looks really cool. So decided to grab this. Left the Alakazam box, which really pains me, but I just thought this looked really cool. So I really wanted to add that to the collection. And then there's our two booster packs. So we will open these later in the video, but this is everything that I grabbed this morning. All right, so it's later in the same day and I just left my mailbox because I got another package here. Let's go home and open it up and then we'll open up the Chilling Rain booster packs. This is gonna be really cool, so let's go check it out. All right, so we are back home and before we look at what I picked up from Walmart today, we are gonna look at the stuff that I got in the mail and a few other things that I picked up along the way that I didn't get to record. So the first thing here, my brother, my older brother actually picked this up for me. He found me this Kenny Omega that I've really been wanting for my AEW uh, wrestling action figure collection. So that is really cool. Happy to have this guy in the collection. That's awesome. 
going to leave him back there. So that's really cool. Shout out to my brother for that. And then my buddy Grant actually gave me this. This is so cool. It is a Pokemon trading card Pokemon trading card game trainer video. You can see right there it says not for resale. This is a VHS tape. Looks really cool. You can see the back there. Mewtwo, Gyarados, Pid uh, what is that? Pidgeot. It says Wizards of the Coast. The, right there, that's really cool. And yeah, this is just so cool. This is a VHS tape, as you can see here. Really cool. He found this at a thrift store a while back. And he gave it to me <laughs> because I actually went to his house and we popped this in to check it out. And unfortunately, somebody recorded their own like school project or something over this. So, I mean, the tape is ruined, but it's still cool to have with the the outer slip there. That's really cool. Really happy to have this for the collection. He's like, you know what? You can just have it since it was recorded over. So that's really cool. That's the nostalgia right there. Put that in the background. And then lastly, I have this Pokemon four movie collector set right here. It comes with four movies. Pokemon Heroes, the movie. Pokemon Forever, which is the fourth Pokemon movie. Pokemon Jirachi Wishmaker. And Pokemon Destiny Deoxys, the movie. Which I actually recently watched this one. And it was pretty good. I had this collection. I've had it for a couple years. Um, I honestly, I don't even remember where I got this from. But... Nowadays, this goes for over a hundred dollars. That is crazy. So definitely hanging on, hanging on to that. But the reason I'm showing that is because I went online and I was just looking around, and they actually put out another four movie collection here that I had to grab. This is black and white, and it comes with Pokemon the movie, uh, Black, Victini and Reshiram, and then Pokemon the movie White. Victini and Zekrom. I don't know what the differences are between those two movies, but then right here we have Pokemon the movie uh, Kaiyu Rim, the Sword of Justice. That looks pretty cool. And then the last one here, Pokemon the movie Genesect and the Legend Awaken. So this is on two discs here, which look really cool. As you can see right there, I just wanted to pick these up. Kind of want to start collecting like not just Pokemon cards, just anything really Pokemon related. I'm just so into it right now. This is really cool. So I had to grab this collection. And as far as I know, these are the only two Blu-ray uh, releases with the movies on them. Um, I do need to get the first three movies on Blu-ray eventually, soon, hopefully. Um, I do have them. Give me one second. I do have them on VHS here. This is the first movie, Pokemon, the first movie. I do have it on VHS. I also have Pokemon 2000 on VHS. And then I have Pokemon 3, the movie, which comes with a little, was that a pog or something? I don't know, but I also have that one on VHS, but I don't have them on uh, like Blu-ray or anything. There is a collection that comes with all three, so definitely going to have to grab that soon, eventually. So, All right, so now let's get into the package that I got in the mail today, as you can see right here. And this is another booster box that I really wanted to add to my collection. And they packed it pretty well. Got some bubble wrap around it, or some bubbles around it. Here you go, let me try to get this out without damaging it. And here we go. This is a Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield Battle Styles Booster Box. You can see right here. This looks really, really cool. Happy to uh, add this to my sealed collection this is 36 booster packs so really really cool really excited really happy to add this to my collection and uh yeah so got this for pretty cheap uh not gonna lie it was pretty cheap compared to other booster boxes i guess a lot of people don't really like this set but i think it's a pretty cool set i mean all the urshifus the alternate alternate arts and stuff like that they're really cool so there's tyranitar there's also a really cool tyranitar that you can pull in this set. So really happy to add this complete sealed booster box to the collection. I'm gonna put that right there. And without further ado, let's take a look at what I picked up at Walmart. All right, so what I picked up today was the Eternatus tin here, which comes with the Eternatus V Ultra Rare. That looks really cool. This comes with five booster packs. 
doesn't really uh, specify ever what like booster packs it comes with. Um, but I guess there is a Pikachu tin and an Eevee tin out there, which I've never seen those in person. But I really wanted this Eternatus one. So when I saw this there, I passed on the Alakazam box and I decided to grab this. So um, I'm not going to open this in this video. I'm going to keep this sealed for now in my sealed collection. I'm just going to put this right right there, maybe. Yeah, right there. hope it doesn't fall. But what we are going to open today are these two single booster packs of Chilling Rain. Really excited. So uh, without further ado, let's get into these two booster packs. So these are single booster packs that we found just laying there. And uh, whoa, that opened right up. That's wild. So single booster packs we found just laying there that um, that's the only ones that I've seen that I saw in the whole store. So really excited to open this. Got an Articuno pack here, and let's see if we have any luck. I know we opened these up before, and didn't do well, but let's, let's see if our luck can change this time around. So there's the code card, and we got four cards, and here we go. So we got a Fire Energy, a Cybold, a Melanie. A Brawly, a Boon Sweet, a Fur Fro, a Diglett, a Larvesta, an Inkay, a Reverse Uncommon Celio, and a Non Holographic Goler. Well, I can't say I'm surprised because I mean, I'm not, I don't know, I just haven't had the best luck with pools lately, but here we go with this one. Wow, again, this one opened right up. I don't know. That kind of creeps me out when they open, like they immediately just open up. I hope, I don't know if, if Walmart is allowing returns or not. Hopefully not. I don't think they are, but here we go with another pack, Chilling Rain. Hopefully we pull something out of here. Hopefully, please. I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. All right, so there's the code card. And then we got four, two, three, four. Oh, wow, y'all see that? Look at that bent right there. That's not good. Four. And here we go, our last pack of Chilling Rain. So, Leaf Energy, Hat Trim. Flaffy. That's actually a pretty cool card. I like that art on that. That's really cool. Kakuna. I always really like that art too. A Shuppet. A Cast Form. A Ghastly. A Cubfu. A Hatnena. A Reverse Rare. Walreen. That actually looks really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Walreen. And a non-holographic wheezing. Well, looks like the best card we pulled was this wall ring. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen this one before. I think I'm going to hold on to it and put it in the binder. But um, yeah, that's everything we pulled. And that is going to do it for this video. But this is everything that I got in the mail. The figure that my brother got me. The VHS that my buddy gave me. And the two Blu-rays that I picked up. So... Even though we didn't pull anything, really happy with all this here and I'm not going to open these up. Um, maybe the tin eventually, but the booster box, I'm definitely going to keep sealed for now anyways. But yeah, anyway, that's everything that I got recently. So we didn't get anything good this time, but that's okay because it's still really fun to open Pokemon cards for the channel. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and to support the channel. We are nine subscribers away from 200 and the giveaway. So stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't. And please check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will see you all next time.